we go. Yeah, okay. Here's our people. We're going to put this up later somehow. I don't know how we do this, but I'm recording it to the cloud. We had a real problem with our internet going down. Uh, we still and, do. We still do. But you, you know, the first thing you do is you blame yourself. You know, what did I do wrong? And then I after a while, blame you blame AT and T. Huh? I always blame AT and T. You always so blame AT and T. Can you? I always blame myself. For... Can you imagine businesses like Wall Street and some of the other areas? Yeah, but this is what... since ten a.m. Yeah, but I don't know if it's other parts of town though. That we don't know. Uh, they said but, New York City. Well, it said New York, but we don't know. All I know is that I tried to find out by finding a way to call Verizon and talk to a human being. Yeah, right, call Verizon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I finally did get to a human being, but what you got to go through is incredible. I mean, it's amazing what you have to go through. And the time it takes just to do that. Yeah, and finally you get a human being uh, after, and the thing is, they make this being on a whole torturous. To begin with, have you ever noticed the music is tinny? <laughs> it, they could put a full size sound across so you hear their nice music, but no, it's very tinny. And then it's like, then they start keeping making announcements. Uh, you're, you're, this call is being monitored for quality assurance. The reason we're doing that is, and then they give you a long explanation. And then there's another little thing they're trying to sell you. And another thing, and it's, you, they just want to drive you crazy. And they do. Yeah, I know, I know somebody that, that took a job as a, uh, um, uh, as the, the receiver of, of, uh, of the calls. Yeah. Uh, for, for a company and uh what what she, she she didn't last long on it um they, they don't get very, paid very much anyway but it, uh, um the whole purpose is to is to discourage you, you from calling yeah yeah you yeah. Know, it's not it's not customer service it's customer whatever but it's not, it's not a customer yeah absolutely yeah, so you know what they customer could have done when Alex first yeah. called they could have generally said it is out in the area of such and such they, and then they should know the one with yeah. pushing buttons they, or they, whatever. They should know where you're calling from because obviously you have a you have a phone number and so on. And they, you know, they have they can immediately go on somewhere and see where you live. And then and full say, service and full and service have, will be restored. Such and have such. an announcement so you don't have to go ahead any further than what you're already doing. But they're in India. Why do they care? Yeah. Well. <laughs> but anyway, so I finally got to somebody. And and she doesn't know what's going on. Says, "What's your name? What's your pin number? What's the bed? Right, right, all right. the stuff you told them already." And then finally, when she comes back, she says, "Oh, there's service out in your area." <laughs> well, no shit. That's, I just called. I just wanted to have that. That's why I'm calling? <laughs> you know, uh, the reason I want to confirm is because maybe you don't know. Okay, maybe you haven't been informed. So I wanted to know, and and sure enough, uh, they knew. So uh, we're uh, we have no now. Here's here's the worst part about. It. So what do we do not have? Let me give you the, uh, a rundown of things we don't have. We don't have we don't have uh, the uh, cable online services or any of the streaming services. Can't have nothing to watch, but we do have the network working inside the house like all the videos that I have and so on. So we can watch movies and things like that. But here's the worst part. I am so into electronics and into science and into being able to say to my 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 Echo, oh, she didn't even go off. Echo? She's off too, Alex. I'm having trouble connecting. Oh, you hear her? Yeah. How could so, we get her? Does that mean you we're see, online? The is, no, but the thing is with Echo, all the things I have in the house, like the lights and so on, <laughs> you should be able to run. However, here's the problem. This is crazy. This is really nuts. It's that movie. Well, what happens is it, it has to go, Echo, out to the internet to then work and turn on your lights. It doesn't do it all from Echo within the house. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So that None of our lights go on. Yeah. 
None of our anything goes on. I'm sorry, to... dear, that I did this to you by hooking all this up this way. <laughs> I have no idea. If I had to deal with it, I mean, I wouldn't even know where to start. That seemed like a good idea at the time. And you know what? Also, what's terrible? I can't get, I can't, it wasn't able to get this to go on to uh, uh, Facebook. Uh, Facebook. Facebook. Well, I wouldn't do Facebook. So I tried to do it with YouTube, but then it said, I don't have the, I can't, this machine is not able to go on to YouTube. And I'm going, why? So what, are you, what, are you using, what are you using to go out right now? Your cell phone? Nothing's going out. Oh, well, obviously I, it is because we're zooming what, right now, so something's happening. Oh, what? What? what, 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 what okay, here, here's what I did to the Zoom. I, I've gone cellular. There you go. Okay, okay. so yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So I'm cellular, and okay. uh, can I, can I, can I go down a bit of a rabbit hole, or because it's fascinating that we're talking about this right now. Um, I had a client last week, and and it, it, where we are right now, you always ask how things are in Canada. Well, we had a deep freeze. Uh, which I think you guys are getting now, but we had on the West Coast last week, and then we had about we a foot of snow, it. and 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 so um, we're reeling from it now. And now everything's warmed up and melting, and we got puddles everywhere, and it's great. Mm -hmm. But one of the things we had a client, I had a client come in, and we got into this conversation about how uh, technology and how we lean on technology over the years has changed. So, like back in the day, like when I was growing up, every house that I would go to, they had like a wood burning stove. Why would they have a wood burning stove? Well, they had a wood burning stove because electricity wasn't, and the heating and gas and all that wasn't, it wasn't yeah. perfected yet. We hadn't counted right. on. We always wanted to have the backup of the old days. And and then as time moves forward, it's like, okay, now we're we're not even building houses with wood burning stoves anymore. And they're all just relying on the grid. Um, and, and, and it happens where, and it's happening with internet now, where we're just relying on not just the grid, the services within the grid, the signal, all of that stuff. And mm -hmm. what would happen, and the grid could go down very easily, just ask our friends in Texas, like, holy cow, it could go down. What would happen if, never mind the internet signal, but the grid and all that stuff goes down, how prepared are we as a species for that now compared to where we were even 30 years ago? Ask Charlie. <clears throat> ask Charlie. He went through it last year, the year before, right? How many yeah. days did you have no power? Four days each time. Ooh. See, certainly about, forget about forget about power. That's bad enough. But we have so set ourselves up to the internet that if the whole system were to just break down, mm -hmm. how are you gonna bank? How are you gonna, you know, Instacart? I guess you're gonna have to go in the car and go over to Costco, who probably doesn't have any of their stations working, so they can't yeah. how are you gonna pay? Them out? Yeah, you can't yeah. pay. <laughs> yeah, right. They can't order anymore. You got two weeks of that, and then you have to the cost well because morning, they can't order early. anymore. They no more internet. They do all the ordering on the internet, and it, the whole thing just <laughs> chain reacts, right? I yeah. ordered this morning very early, and then all of a sudden, when I was going to order again, it was all out. Well, on the bright side, maybe we'd find out the truth about everything because, you know, right now that the information that we're getting comes from the Soviet Union or so. And, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> Russia. <laughs> no more Soviet Union. Forgot about that. Yeah. I had nothing to do but talk to Alex. Oh, wow. <laughs> I have it's it on been, good authority. It's been, a, it's, it's been a torturous four hours. <laughs> <laughs> I have it on good authority that we're supposed to just blame Canada. <laughs> yeah. But, but, you know, I mean, it I heard it, the song. It, you really feel as though you you've been you've had your balls cut off, you know. I mean, it it we we rely too much on this stuff. I feel Ooh, that way a lot. <laughs> Think about it. I mean, when 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 I was growing up, we lived in Marin County, and we had a house there, and we lived there. We never had these kind of problems. You know, the worst thing was sometimes the electricity would go out. You know you. You, you know those days when the electricity goes out. It happens here in New York about once every 10 years. You know, there's a blackout or something. Uh, but that's it. You know, and then people have a, with a blackout, people were kind of enjoying it, I think. <laughs> you know, but at least for the first 12 hours, it's fun. 
then you go, okay, enough is enough. And when it rolls around into being three days, then you want to kill somebody. Well, you know, Paul and I grew up in Philadelphia. And in those days, we had deep snows where we had school days off. Yeah. And they were deep. Remember, the, the they yeah. were just deep, not just because we were No, little. no, don't say they remember. Really Chisholm, how deep is it up there, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> we got about a foot of snow very quickly. But... It's going away very quickly, though, too, here. There are some places where it doesn't go. And I don't think we've them. gotten a total of a foot of snow in the last four years in New York City. No. Less, yeah. than, less than four inches, Alex. Really? Yeah. In fact, the, the, the snow that we got now, which was like an inch and a quarter, was the first in like three years. Wow. We, we got about 11 inches. inches. And then it melts because it turns 35. <laughs> yeah, and everything's melt. Yeah. So, I mean, but uh, I got to again say that for all their technology at Verizon, you know, with being able to put in the fiber optic, you know, that's wonderful. And the high speed internet and all of that, they can't have a way that you call them that isn't annoying, <laughs> you know, that isn't playing the same music they had. 10 years ago when you called them? Mm -hmm. Oh, just try well, and get a real person. You can't. You can't. When I, when I love, I, de I deal with GoDaddy because I have, you know, website and so on. And GoDaddy, oh my God, they have had this music on hold <laughs> for the la at least the last 10, 12 years I've been with them. And it's the same Song, it's two songs. It's two songs over and over. And then your wait time will now be forty minutes. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> you and you want to cut your throat, you know. And then today, today I call them. They go, your wait time will be twenty minutes. But if you want us to call you back, just say so. And I go, call me back. And they go, they will call you back in twenty minutes. Bye. Okay. Now I'm in here waiting for the call with my phone, okay? <laughs> and somehow, I don't know why, my iPad rings in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> and I go run to the bedroom, and by then, they've hung up. <laughs> <laughs> but when I saw, so I had to recall them again, reset the call, and then I brought the iPad in here, and sure enough, it recruited Run on the iPad, not the phone. I don't know why. Uh, and uh, I pick up the iPad, and now I've got another ten minutes of. You know, uh, uh, you, are time. you the person who called? Say yes yep. if you are. We're gonna blah, 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 blah. And uh, okay, uh, you're. you're, you're Wait there, are there are people waiting online, but you'll be. Uh, uh, you're in a queue, and you'll be the next. And when it wasn't, it wasn't. She didn't say next. You know, why did you say we'll call you back? And then when you call me back, you're not ready to talk to me. So Alfred Hitchcock wrote the script. <laughs> it's called, you know, Psycho. I'm sure Andrew Deutsch has an answer to all of this. So now is not the time to tell you, Alex, that I work for Verizon and I set up the call center. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I didn't realize how much I, I depended on the internet and, and all this stuff until today. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's amazing. It's yeah, just amazing. unable to do anything. Yeah. And so now today I had to do this show and I figured, uh, well, I can try. And I try, figured I would do it on YouTube, but it won't go out over YouTube for some reason. It has no... Uh, uh, what when I didn't have the permission to do it, but I do have the permission. Well, nor normally when you go through YouTube, Alex, are you using a streaming service like Restream or one of those? No, ones? no. I usually use uh, I for this. I do Facebook because it's very so easy to go on. To but Facebook. that's you've got that connection. It should work if it's Facebook to YouTube. I would imagine if I did it on my regular machine here, it would go through. Hmm. But uh, but I'm doing it off my iPad, and maybe it doesn't recognize the iPad. Or I don't know. 
You could have set up a mobile hotspot on the iPad or on your phone and done it that way too. So, so Jeff, I'm sure you have a mobile hotspot, but what am I hotspotting? The Wi-Fi? No, no, your your, your <laughs> cellular connection, your cellular. I do that, that all the time. Make, that will make a Wi-Fi connection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do I need Maybe to call? Maybe I should set up a hotspot. Then. You need you me to call Jeff me. Bezos to tell him he has to watch the show later when he's restreamed. <laughs> <laughs> do you Come do, on, guys, do, you, speak English. <laughs> you, when, you, when you set up a hotspot, it comes up and it, it gives it a name. And then when you, you go on your computer and say, I want to go to that internet connection, and it's a cellular connection and it works great. But can I just do that? I can do that on my iPad now, right? I, I Absolutely. Talk. Sure. It'll, oh. it'll take a minute. You'll end up probably crashing the show doing it. Really? Yeah, you're better off just keep the recording and afterwards yeah. it'll yeah. be saved on Zoom and then you can upload it to YouTube. And upload Where do it. I upload it from Zoom? <laughs> At, call me after the show. I'll talk you through it. Oh, okay. It's, it's, it's easy. When I do my <laughs> podcast, I record it in Zoom and then I grab the recording and upload it. Well, where do you where do you go to get it? Is it just on, you got to figure out where it saved it on your computer? It's it's usually saved under uh, videos or with. Oh, no, no, no. This is going to the cloud. Well, then you go onto Zoom's cloud and download it and then upload it into. And you yeah. go to Zoom's cloud by being on Zoom. Yeah, you have access to it through your Zoom connect. Oh, OK, OK. And then you'll okay. upload it into YouTube and then post the YouTube video. How long, how big will a, a, a how big a, a file will it make on? About this big. <laughs> that doesn't Mine help me. <laughs> I do the same thing for the Letterman podcast. It's usually about if it's an hour long conversation, it's usually about three to five gigs. And then I take it and put it into the video software with the right frame rate and all that. And it usually ends up being about 10 gigs after processing once it's done editing. But I mean, how much will will uh, Zoom record? About five oh, gigs worth. I think it's about three to five gigs. Andrew, is that about right? Yeah, it's about it'll, it, it, it's yeah, not, this it's is, not significant. This yeah. is this isn't even gigs. This is whatever. It's the other I thought this was your gig. Yeah, this is my gig. <laughs> And so anyway, you know, technology has bit me in the ass today. Yes, it did. Hey, it's you probably wonderful. don't know this. Isn't you it? probably don't know this thing, Alex. Norman Jewison just passed away. Did he oh. really? Yeah. Wow. Oh wow. CBC, he's Canadian. So CBC.com actually, or CBC News actually sent me that. Whenever a prominent Canadian dies, that happens. So just yeah. 97, I think. Really? Yeah. <laughs> What did he 29 do? Oscar wins. Holy smokes. That's a lot what? of Oscar. 29 Oscar wins and Ooh. wow. Wait a minute. 29 Martin. Oscar wins. No. No, oh, no nominations. Wait. That might be oh, nominations. That, might, that might be nominations. <clears throat> and Martin Luther King's kid Dexter passed away too. That I heard, yeah. Wow. Oh. Yeah. And the best the best news of the day, the Supreme Court told uh, Biden he can go ahead and remove all that razor wire from the border. It's causing all the problems. Yeah. Oh, really? Yep. Yep. Oh, good. Well, good for that. I, I all think these other cities and... have to start taking in immigrants. <laughs> New York City is not only bursting at the scenes, but there's no hotels left. I mean, they have them in tents all over the place. But the Republicans no refuse to pass any legislation that would help with that. They That's don't want right. to give Biden a win. So and fly. yet, who and yet, who is sending them here? Republicans. Yeah, Republicans. Yeah. Charlie, you better make up the spare bedroom because you'll have some people coming out. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, look, I, I, I'm a little different than Marjorie. She goes, "What are all these people are just, you know?" To begin with, she has no evidence that they're squeezing us out because she never leaves the apartment. Okay, <laughs> so she has no evidence of that. <laughs> <laughs> But you doesn't... know, New York, New York brought it on itself, Alex, by designating themselves a sanctuary city. So that's yeah, how well, Republicans are getting even. It's yeah, not a sanctuary they... city. Which it is all... called a. It has a. It's a right to. Uh, 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 we we have to give them place to stay. Well, that's because uh, it's a, a sanctuary city. Yeah. yeah. No, it's not you called know. a sanctuary city. That's not the designation. It's a, no, but because it is a sanctuary city, when they come, we have to give them a place to stay. That's right. And, yeah. you know, when a few people dropped in to town and said, I don't have a place to stay, and we go, well, we're a wonderful city, and we will find you a place to stay, 
that was wonderful. When there are 140,000 of them, that's a slightly different story. A week. Hmm? Austin is a sanctuary city, but he's not sending any immigrants here. That's because he'd have to pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you don't have any more razor wire down there, so that's good. You know. Isn't Sanctuary City a Bowie song? <laughs> yes. Oh no, wait. That's Suffragette Suffragette City. City. Sorry, I meant that. No, that's Suffragette. That's yeah, Suffragette. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, but uh, I'm trying to remember what we call it. We don't call it a sanctuary city. We we call it, we have a right to house or something. In other words, you can't be turned away from housing here if you don't have a place to live. Uh, so, but we yeah. never anticipated it would be the, this kind of numbers. Well, it, we have been, I don't know why somebody hasn't done something about the people who are sending them here and saying, hey, you know, this is against the law. You're kidnapping them and bringing them here. Didn't they say that they were going to uh, uh, bring a lawsuit against the bus bus companies? They're trying. The, the bus companies, yeah. yeah they, they're only allowed to come in through at certain hours. And uh, what was this? What was the other thing they were saying? Uh, that that if they come in at any other hours, they're going to get fined. If they do this or that, they're going to get fined, and the whole bus can be repossessed. <laughs> so they're starting to think twice about coming in with immigrants. Isn't that what California's doing? Is 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 seizing the buses when they do that? Are are they seizing the buses? I thought we I have anybody here from California. you know? Oh, we do have one person here from California, Len Lafrisco. Yeah. Len, are they Brian. doing that? Brian's from Brian. Yeah. Oh, Brian, Brian, of course. Well, Brian, uh, I, I don't think of as being from California. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, I'm from Philadelphia, so yeah. We don't like I'm it. from Philadelphia. And now, and now, yeah, live what's up it to you? To, <laughs> I, have to, I have to do this for my sports, Emmy. So how did all the games turn out this weekend, Brian? Uh, it sucked because the uh, 49ers squeaked one out. Just barely. God, they just that sounds dirty. And, and I was there because Adrian was doing our competition. Right, literally right across the street is the stadium. So going in there, we had to deal with all the 49er fans waiting like five hours in line just to get into the parking lot to start tailgating. And then wow. had to leave, and they're all screaming and shouting and honking, and uh, yeah, 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 it's terrible. It's terrible, huh? Okay. That game was crazy. So we got to deal with them one more week. Oh, well, who's who's going crazy. to the Super Bowl? We all know. Oh, well, the script says 49ers and the uh, Baltimore Ravens because of the color <laughs> that they use for the logo. So. Oh, stop it. Yeah, the nine, Niners <laughs> are going to play the Lions for the right to go to the Super Bowl, and the, and the Ravens are going to play uh, Kansas, City. Kansas City Chiefs. But what 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 you're who you were going for, Charlie? They're all out. Right, the, the yeah, they Cowboys. dove out two hmm? minutes into the first quarter. <laughs> Mine was at least the second quarter. I have, I yeah, I have one team. One team I'm rooting for now. It's just whatever team's playing the 49ers. <laughs> I'm rooting for the Lions. Wait, 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 wait a minute, You're not pro 49ers, Brian. No, I'm not. Well, well, the 49ers are your local team. I know, and so when they keep winning, I got to hear it on KMBR all day. Although they're going to the Super Bowl and all this crap, yeah. <laughs> and you don't want to hear that. Exactly. Right for Detroit. What happened to you in your childhood that made you an Eagles fan? Yeah, <laughs> abuse. What abuse happened? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what kind of child abuse did you suffer? <laughs> I. Eat. I used to live in Redwood City, and right down the street from my house was Red Morton Community Center, and that's where the 49ers used to work out. So we used to rip holes in there to watch them. I used to see all the 49ers in town all the time. Mm. But I, just, I grew out of it, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't enough to make you a lifetime fan? No, not really. <laughs> because uh, Shecky, my Shecky, who you all know, uh, who's left us, um, and it's, he's better off probably considering all the things that are going on. Uh, he was always a Yankees fan mm. from the time he was a kid. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me yeah, too. Yankees fan. And um, I always was, I always t said I was very jealous of him, and I always told him this because when I was a kid, I didn't have a team to root for. 
There were no okay. baseball teams out west. There were no baseball teams in San Francisco. You had right. uh, the San Francisco Seals, and you had um, Oakland, o- one, hmm? o- Oakland Oaks. The Oakland Oaks. That was it. And the uh, the uh, uh, let's see the forty nine forty niners the uh, 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 Seals played at uh, at Kizar Stadium, and that was the team I think Joe D- uh, DiMaggio came. When he went mm-hmm. out to the East Coast, mm-hmm. and it it was a it was a farm team, you know, uh, but it it uh, we had no real vested interest in baseball. You, you know? didn't grow up in it. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I always felt jealous about that because like kids who lived in Brooklyn, when they lived in Brooklyn, the people who played on that team on the Dodgers lived in Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. You know, you'd walk down the street to go get yourself an ice cream, and there would be, you know, a, Do- yeah. a Brooklyn Dodger. And I, yeah. I, what a what a great way to wait, uh, grow up, you know, having your heroes living in your backyard. Yeah. 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 One. <laughs> well, you yeah, say, yeah. Uh, uh, Jeff, that you were a, a, a Yankees fan, right? Still are, still are, still are. Forever. And, and that that's a lifetime thing too. Yeah. So, you know, you you're a Dodger fan. Uh, the Dodgers went out. The uh, it, the Dodgers went out to California. Yeah, a lot of the fans felt really betrayed by them. Oh yeah, absolutely betrayed by them. But but they were still were Dodger fans. You know, I I think uh, when they built uh, what the Mets. Yeah, maybe a lot of those people said, "Oh, okay, this is a place I can go." Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you want to stay in Brooklyn, yeah. yeah uh, but they had them. Well, they had the Mets, and uh, the Mets uh, were a terrible team. You may remember yeah, in the very right. beginning. Um, I think it was Joe Garagiola who said the great thing about that game is if a high fly went up and it then went into left field. Uh, the only interesting part about the game is you didn't know who was going to miss catching it. <laughs> um, and so um, that was, you know, his thing. Uh, it was terrible, terrible, horrible thing. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, they were a terrible team. And then somehow they got good and they won a pennant. And yeah. then guess what? They won the series. Yep. Now, in those days when they were losing like crazy, you couldn't get a seat in that stadium. <laughs> People loved a loser, and they mm-hmm. turned out for them. They won the pennant. They won the series. And after that, you couldn't find people to sit in that stadium. <laughs> <laughs> it was a curse. <laughs> they Everybody loved them as the, whole, as the lovable losers. That's you know? how we felt about the Cubs in Chicago. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Am, am I right? Am I right, Jeff? That was yeah, absolutely. And absolutely. the minute they were winners, that was it. You know, forget it. <laughs> yeah. But my the friend, uh, league's been like that in Canada for the NHL. My my friend uh, uh, Steve Gruber was a big Dodgers fan when he was a kid. He was like the head of the Dodgers Kids League fan or something. club. The fan club and whatever. And then when they went out to California, he felt really betrayed. He told me how betrayed he felt. And then uh, he uh, he went with the he went with the Mets and spent his whole life as a Met fan. We go out to Met games with her. And they they actually were selling tiles in the stadium with your name on it and so on. And he bought a tile with his name on it in that stadium. You know. He just wanted to be part of the uh, uh, part of the Mets, and so he was a big Mets fan. Remember that, Martin Curry, big Mets fan. Mm-hmm. But he, his his uh, loyalty did not follow the Dodgers out to California. He just mm-hmm. felt completely betrayed by that. Mm-hmm. You know, it's interesting because everyone in the East grew up with football, basketball, baseball. Uh, we were surrounded by it. 12 months out of the year yep. so hockey as well interesting hockey. to hear to somebody on the west coast that they didn't really have uh those kinds of teams until much later yeah 
Um, yeah. So, I mean, that's a re really a problem. Really a problem. It was sad. It was very sad. Yeah. Uh, Marjorie and I grew up with uh, going to the same high school as Will Chamberlain. And Wayne, uh, Wayne Howard. Wally Hazard. Yeah. Right. Well, I know Will Chamberlain. I don't know who the other two guys are. But... <laughs> they were basketball. I know. I know they probably were basketball players. Well, let me just tell you something. When we went to Overbrook, it was the best all-state basketball. So there. I rest my case. The more important, great. Great. The more important question have fun, is... Paula. Huh? The more, yeah. the more important... It, you, uh, yeah, oh, it was a big, it was a big thing. I was just thinking that now I live in Akron, which is LeBron James's home. You know, he, he he's he really is a superhero. I mean, Will, mm. he's a big star. <laughs> but but I've, LeBron, LeBron, I've really even heard great. of LeBron James. <laughs> you, if Brian didn't say it, I could say it. Go for it, Brian. The more important question is: Are you? Do you know anybody part of the twenty thousand person club? Yeah, that's what I was gonna ask. <laughs> What's the twenty thousand person? Oh, yes, Will Will he, he, yeah, he, he was in twenty thousand. Twenty thousand women. Uh, I, regret, you know I regret what? to I, say I, that I, I have no idea. I have, I have met Will. I, I remember met, hearing that. Wait a minute. I have met met Will Chamberlain. Uh, <laughs> one day, I was having sex with this woman, and I looked over next to me and met <laughs> Will Chamberlain. So that's how I met. <laughs> You see why I'm drinking a glass of wine, folks? Yeah. And it's a good size. You it looks more like body. Scotch. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Um, gee, we're talking sports. How about that, huh? Yeah. Hey, can, can I brag for a second? Sure. Can you what? Uh, Adrian had her first dance competition this weekend. Oh, yeah. yeah. And she did her first solo, first solo on Saturday on Sunday morning. And she won a scholarship to the Nationals in San Diego. Oh, wow. oh that's great. That's oh, wow. that's fantastic. What kind last, of year, last year, yeah, last year she won a scholarship for like the next year thingy, Bob. You know, so she has that. But but it was unbelievable that she, uh, yeah, that they actually there there weren't many people that won scholarships, and she won. And it's like, what kind of dancing is that, Brian? She did a hip hop solo, but she does. Oh, she does wait, 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 I, for... it, you told me it was Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little nervous, Brian. Now I've are we recording this her. session? <laughs> <laughs> Brian, I have to compete against her now. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's hip hop outside. too. My favorite like it was the ballet. Now, outside of being a, a proud daddy, okay, how good was she? she was good <laughs> she, okay. so so the only thing you know the her song is a little bit slower but it so it's a little bit harder to dance hip-hop um so no she her she's really good she's she's very good yeah yeah the video it, it's not the dad I, I the scholarships there is i don't know how many kids were in there like 500 kids and there's only like 20 scholarships that went out so yeah is there a video Are there youtube videos of it hmm uh i have a video of it but it's, I, i'm trying to figure out how to send it I, it's sort of weird but yeah so i just know she so that one was good but she did a lyrical one before with like seven other girls and that one i was in tears she was like the centerpiece of it and she did some thingy with her leg and then you know then they all grab her and they pull away oh my god it was mm. like hair jerker so wow that's amazing okay. all right <laughs> yeah I'm just looking to see if I'm we're back online yet. No, we're not. I, I figured that probably halfway through this program we get back online. Can you imagine New York City with no internet connection? Well, I don't have to imagine it. It's happening. It's happening, but it's gonna be interesting. If, 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 let's, say it's not, let's say let's say it's not happening to the whole city. Let's say it's happening to a section of it that I'm in. Harlem, yeah. It's still Harlem. Yeah, it's still an impact on business. When how, are said, people, how are people going to order dinner tonight? That's right. Telephone, you know? that you can do. You can order oh, you by telephone. What? You, could, what? you can use the telephone for that? Yeah. Oh, what do you do? Oh, you just, you know what you can do. You just go like we have, cellular. But I've never done this before, so I didn't know that I couldn't, uh, I couldn't, 
wouldn't let me send up to uh, 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 to YouTube, which but I wanted to do. Coming out good, huh? Your show is fine. Everything looks good. Yeah, but it's not going out anywhere. But well, we are making a recording it. of it. Yeah. So you know, but uh, I I decided to do it anyway because I wanted to see all these people. So you know, this is a regular habit with me. No Mandy today, though. No. Oh, I could have. have sworn I, huh? You didn't have a holiday today. <laughs> <laughs> no, but somewhere I, I thought I saw her here, but I guess not. You know. So anyway. Mm. So, uh, anyway, what else is new? What else has happened? What else is besides my internet going down? Santa's has dropped out of the race. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The Santa's yeah. dropped out, yeah. Yeah. And he yeah. supported Trump within 30 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, what was it? Um, so, I wonder how this, I don't, we know you usually don't talk politics, but how, how does this going to affect Nikki Haley? You think she'll come closer to beating Trump? No. No. You don't think so? Most of the is it even possible that like Trump? I know I'm not an American, but that guy's that guy's the Republican nomination, right? Like it goes without saying, like it's gonna happen for sure, right? Yes. Yeah. Trump's going to get the nomination. Well, no, but he did. Yeah. Since yeah. when? Since <laughs> when after two of the most <laughs> minor of the primaries uh, did we suddenly declare that somebody's won the whole nomination I mean he's still momentum. got to go through the other states Called momentum. yeah but isn't his support like just far and away like isn't he like incredibly popular with his group of people who love him with that I, base? Don't, I don't understand it I, I, I can't understand it from the standpoint that like in Iowa the evangelist came out for him. a man who has absolutely no morality, no Christian ethics, you know? <laughs> Only 14% came out. Yeah. It, it, well, that, of course, it was, it was they had the snow, too, you know. I saw, yeah. a, I saw a thing where uh, it was like an ad, like a campaign ad or whatever, comparing Trump to Jesus Christ. Oh, God. <laughs> I, it made me sick. <laughs> <laughs> It just made me sick. It's just well, project. Project. Unbelievable. We, can, we can only hope that he ends up the same way. Lincoln Project did a parody of that. Lincoln Project did a parody of that. It was called "In God Created a Dictator." Yeah. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Crazy. Oh boy. Well, you know, I, I that's why I hate to talk about politics. Marjorie doesn't even watch the news anymore. You can't oh. watch the news, right, Marjorie? Yeah, it's just. I don't want to hear about it. Yeah. Just oh, leave me alone. Can, can oh. I tell you something about Marjorie? I love this woman. You know, with uh -oh. all my heart. I uh oh. Love her. Uh -oh. Wait a minute. I love this woman more than life. Yeah, Randy, what? So he says. <laughs> so you know how last week we were talking about <laughs> the bear? Yeah, the movie. Yeah. Yeah. The TV show. Yeah. TV show. Yeah. <clears throat> and she wouldn't watch it. Because you watched an episode, or half an episode, or a third of an episode. The episode sucked. You even admitted to that. No, I didn't know where it was going. The first episode is just, you know, most first episodes of any series is just setting up the thing. And you can't yeah, judge it. This was so the... bad, I refuse to watch anymore. Well, anyway, I, I said to her, I'm going to watch it. I think you should watch it with me. Uh, because uh, I think we should give it a chance. Because everybody including Andrew Deutsch, whose opinion I don't value at all. <laughs> of course I <laughs> Love the show. Okay? And I, I have to figure out that if these many people love this show, there must be a reason for it. So we started watching it. So after the first ep second episode that we watched, she went, nah, I don't think it's that good. And she kept going that way through the whole first series. I it's it's all right, you know. <laughs> finally, I'll show you how it turned out. But we walked, finally finished the, the second season, and the next day she comes to me and she said, "Well, I have to admit when you're right." 
<laughs> he said, oh, pretty it's damn a good show. <laughs> it is. Right, Marjorie? And I it agree. is. It's a very good show. I was wrong and I admitted it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I found nothing wrong with it. Let me put it that way. You know? The, and it they get the, better. Good cast, uh, great storyline. Uh, and plus the fact that we were, it was quite a week for us because we watched that and Ted. The series. That's okay. funny. So two two the bears we watched. <laughs> we were it was our bear period. Uh, but mm -hmm. it's a, it's a if you haven't seen it, it's a Marjorie will tell you it's a great show. You it know? is. It's adorable. Yeah. yeah I, heard, I heard they had a lot of background too. This is the cooking one, right? The cooking show. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I heard one one guy's actual chef, but then the other ones went to cooking school to make sure that they know how to stir right. You know, not that they're like, you know, normal people just stirring stuff. Yeah, they, 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 learned they, a couple order, of they learned how to do all this stuff. Yeah. No, so that they I'm sure they didn't do the chopping and things like that, the close-ups of the chopping. I'm sure that was real chefs they brought in to do it. Mm -hmm. Uh but but uh the uh the long shots where they're preparing stuff and stirring yeah. the soup. And, preparing to chop the onion and so on they got to show that they got to look good at that and i yeah. think that probably is a pretty good representation of what it's like to open up a restaurant yeah, yeah. Is, is that what it's about yeah it's his yeah. his father's restaurant and he dies or something right and then his they brother, take over the his restaurant brother. his, his brother. brother it was a cheap place and then he he was a well-known chef mm. and came back to run this Oh. He was oh yeah he was a world award winning chef oh, number bro. one and his brother country. dies and leaves him this dump of a place I mean oh, you know it's a, it's, a, it's a walk it's called beef and you walk in and you get like a big I have to family. admit I really it was hard for me to tell Alex that he's right <laughs> I, I was it, it oh. wasn't that I it was, was that right. good yeah I think the I, power went out in Edward Berger's house no no wait wait no. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> now, now. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I, I got to go get Adrian. I'll see you guys. Okay. Hey, hey, by the hey, way, Brad, give, hey, give, wish her our best. Tell her we're so proud of her, too. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. No problem. Okay. okay. All right. Bye. He's Bye -bye. off. He's off to get his daughter. He I'm adores cool. that. He just mm -hmm. adores that kid. Yeah. I thought to adore. She's adorable. Yeah. Huh? She is adorable. And he just, well, of course, it's. He hey, there are three kids in the family, but two of them aren't his. Right. So you know, this is the one that's his, and he had this kid when he hit about fifty, I think. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so I mean, what a thrill for him at this point in his life, and he'll do he'd do anything for that kid. I mean, it's amazing, just amazing. He just got a tattoo of her name. Yes, he got a tattoo on his chest. Yeah. Where did he do it? Yeah, but that, that's what a tattoo that's worth it, okay? When it's where, the name where of the kid. Where did the tattoo go? Where did he put it? In his skin. On his chest. On his arm. On his, on his chest, right here. Oh, right on his chest. Yes. On his yeah. yeah. And it's written in his in his uh, mother's handwriting. <laughs> if you read it. <laughs> you know that old joke, don't you? Yes. <laughs> What, you don't know which joke I'm going to tell. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> okay. No, we which don't. One was, no, we which, don't. One, wait a minute, which one was I going to tell? Is it going to be? Is it about Bill Clinton, maybe, and uh, uh, um, Monica Lewinsky? No. <laughs> no. All right. Well, then I, I, maybe it's different people. But would I'm you gonna, like to hear the joke? I, I would. Yes. Thank you. It better be good. Hey, Alex, can you tell us that joke? <laughs> I have zero faith that it's going to be good. So this guy comes it. over to it. It's been snowing a lot. And this guy comes over to his neighbor's house, knocks on his door and says, I got to talk to you about something. He said, what? He said, your son wrote his name in P in the snow in front of my house. <laughs> and he said, well, come on. You know, when we were kids, we did that. It's no big deal. What are you making a big deal out of it for? He says, it's my daughter's handwriting. <laughs> when I heard it, it was Bill Clinton and it was Monica Lewinsky's handwriting. So, yeah. You heard that about Bill Clinton? Bill Clinton and Monica Lewinsky's handwriting. How do you, <laughs> yeah. how, how do you make that a Bill Clinton joke? Yeah. Oh, Monica Lewinsky was 
holding the pen, if you want to call it that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's what they call it. I don't think it's a pen. Yeah. yeah. There's two more letters. <laughs> so Paul, how was the weather? Paul, how was the weather up there? Did you even go out? Paula? What? Oh, I said, how was the weather up there? Did you even go out? Yes, I did. That was a that was a rather shift in, in the um in the subject. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was asking her about her writing skills. <laughs> <laughs> kind of whip me around there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I've exactly. never done this on an iPad, but it looks pretty good. Yeah, it does and too. It, it's much easier to do. It's so nice. It really is, you know. But whatever so mm -hmm. how is it in uh, in uh, in your part of the country up there in ohio is it uh, was it a lot of snow uh it's been it's been pretty pretty awful um uh, very very cold and very very gray but it's, uh, today it's it's uh, it's getting it's getting a little bit better it's just like a, a real january downer yeah, yeah. right okay. andrew yeah, we got we got about 11, 12 inches up here because we get the lake effect snow. She doesn't right. get it. Right. We did not. We 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 got about four or five inches. Well, we got uh, let's see here. We got 0. 0.8, I think, of an inch. <laughs> <laughs> We're lucky. Well, we gotta be bragging about that. <laughs> well, it was coming down, but it wasn't sticky. <laughs> well, it was, it, it's coming okay. down into thick snowflakes, which you know, I really I love it when you get those. It, it, it it's got to be the proper temperature. It has it has to be almost not freezing for you to get those big giant flakes. Yeah, but you want the ones that are going to stay. They're the small ones. Yeah, but I sure love those big flakes when they come down. You know, and and they're soft and they're nice. And then when it first snows, you go outside and it's like God soundproofing. You know, it's all white. Yeah. yeah, and it's the soundproofing. It's it, it muffles your sound yeah. and, and clean, and, and it's clean. And then you wake up the next morning. Everybody's been walking through it, and everybody's brown through it, and it's gray. And I think it was, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, it was uh, uh, Dick Cavett years ago who wrote a great joke. And the joke went: uh, New York City is the only place. When kids build a snowman, they use marshmallows for the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and up there, how uh, we know how much the snow is up there, uh, uh, Mike. But uh, well, you're just describing my Saturday night. I was out with my my granddaughter. We were outside. And we were well, you, I saw that picture of her climbing up. A... Oh, and she was doing a rock climbing. Yeah, she's yeah. fearless, man. And really? you know she's in the mixed martial arts and all that stuff. Last week she was absolutely throwing kids around that were almost twice her size. It was great. But Saturday night we were outside with the snow that you're just talking about, and we were out catching it in our mouths, and it was just that beautiful, that beautiful uh, feeling in that moment. And it's mm -hmm. it's you only get it once a year, kind of a thing. And we got to experience that on Saturday night. And her childlike joy was it was uh, contagious and it was delightful. So as you were talking about that, I was thinking back to my Saturday night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. By the way, by the way, you've been joined by Mandy. Hello, Mandy, are you there? Wait, no. Mandy? Mandy? Hmm. She must have butt dialed us. <laughs> <laughs> I, wonder if, I wonder if that's really Mandy. I don't oh, think it goodness. is. I don't think it is. But I have to figure out how to get rid of it. I don't know how to get. But wouldn't it have been funnier if I said instead of Lewinsky was holding the pen, she was holding the writing utensil? Would that have been funnier? That might have been. Okay. That's <laughs> what <laughs> so we'll say next time. Save it for next time. How do we get rid of? <laughs> Just leave it, Alex. Like, I can't get rid of her, and I'm afraid Just that it's leave it. to prank us. No. Zoom bombing is a crime. It gave us the warning on our way in. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Gone. I didn't. I didn't even have to do it. But you know yeah. what? What reason right. I didn't think it was Mandy is she always puts down Mandy O'Brien. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you're gonna if you're going to uh, fake us out, just do Mandy O'Brien, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but we're not we're not online right now. It's only because we come here every week. And we've got the address and all that. Nobody like we're not public right now, right? 
Right. We're not out going out there. Oh, here it comes. It says Mandy O'Brien now. Do I trust that or don't I trust Just do it? it. It's fine. Uh, sure, why not? Uh, let me you see. Gotta, you got to do it. Sure. Yeah, because I was door number three. Let's make well, we're not going out on the internet, but I just don't want it. I, I'm going to put this up later and I don't want to put yeah. it up to somebody. Let me see if I figure out how I get rid of it. If I want to mm -hmm. get rid of it. Um, now nah, it's too, it's almost too late in the show, so <laughs> I'm not I'm not going to do it. Oh, come on! It's gone, isn't it? Come on, come on! Yeah. Well, let's keep. To, okay, we'll give it a chance here. There's Mandy O'Brien. Hello, Mandy. Are you there? Yeah, are we taking bets? Are we taking bets? Is this our turn? Actually, yes. <laughs> Mandy, we thought you were going to wind up being a porn film or something. <laughs> it's early yet. Well, well it's, because it's not too late. The reason I suspected it, man, Mandy, was yeah. that it said Mandy. And you don't ever put up Mandy. You put up Mandy O'Brien. I, I made an attempt to use my computer's camera. <laughs> Zoom. Like I thought I'll just log on really quick and say, hey, because it's been a crazy day and I have to, my car's in the shop, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Oh. But I, I, the camera, like I saw y'all, Is my kid kept saying, connect your camera. And I was going, okay. And I was even doing start video, start video. And it would just pop up saying, okay, I was just using Zoom last Friday. So I don't know why it doesn't work on my computer, but it's fine. Sorry. I just want well, to say. Well, anyway, any, anyway uh, we don't, we're not really going out today anywhere. Uh, because I have uh, just the, the most hellacious uh, outage of internet that I've ever had. So you oh, know. no Wi-Fi or internet. Oh shoot! Yeah, yeah. I can't even turn. I can't even turn on the lights. How are you even doing this then? If you don't have, we don't you have to to each other, man. We see the thing is, I <laughs> I have all the lights now on the internet. I have it on. You know, I just say to. Well, I say to to uh, Echo, Echo. I'm having trouble connecting. And that's what she's. Yeah. Shut up, bitch. So he's <laughs> okay. Alex, how are you doing the camera work though? You're you're on a gimbal or something because you're you've got you got like actual oh, this camera is, work. This is, I can turn this off. It's called Stage uh, on uh, on Apple, and what it does is if I move, it moves with me. See? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it won't follow me all around the room, but it'll do it within a certain parameter. Let me see if I yeah. can. I, I, I can go pretty much. Wow, this really goes a long way. It's been doing it all the show, and I was curious about yeah. it. It, was, yeah, it, it zooms in and out a little bit. actually gives, yeah. Yeah, yeah. actually, Mandy, he's using his AOL dial-up. That's how he's got this going. <laughs> <laughs> I heard the modem. Yeah. <laughs> so how's everything down there in, uh, in, uh, in uh, Georgia? Fine. It's been really, really cold, just like everywhere. Drip yeah. our faucets and you know, leave our cabinets open so we don't get busted pipes. Yeah, but it's finally up in the low fifties right now. Mm. And it's great. Your your big your, your attorney general has a great love life. That's really nice down there. Oh, isn't that sad? <laughs> it's sad. Uh, uh, you know what's sad, sad about it? Why can't she sleep with whoever she wants to sleep yeah. with? That uh, has nothing to do with Trump's case. As I was arguing with someone. What was the story? What was the story? She's basically having an affair with one of her in, in prosecutors who's never chart, tried a RICO case. He's oh, like. She's put, him, she's put him on the group. Yeah. Right. He's okay. made. What gets him is he went to the White House so since he went to the White House, that just makes it look very skewed. But the person that I was discussing this with, who, by the way, does not like Trump, but they are somebody that is not like a super like Democrat yeah. person. Anyway, he just said if they had it, it's because of going to the White House. And also I, my argument was, does that change the facts of the case? Does that yeah, mean it does it? It has nothing to do with the case. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So because he's like, oh, she's blown it. It's and I'm like, how? Just all of a sudden he's innocent because she's got a boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, but the funny part is you then say to the same guy, Well, you know, he was found guilty of raping a woman. Right. And his answer will be so. That's <laughs> just Trump. 
Yeah. Well, wait a minute. That's just your attorney general. She needs to get laid now and then. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? It's anytime you're talking about anything with this man, it's crazy. So there's no sense in even. You don't. don't you just don't do it. You just don't do it. It's you just don't. so insane. It's so insane that this dude is even winning primaries. Like, what the hell? <laughs> you heard it from Mandy, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. But we usually, you know, never, so, this is the most political we've ever gotten on this show. And we're ever? hardly political. Yeah. Well, so not let's, ever. Let's, let's go back. Yeah. Yeah. No more because, politics. Yeah. Marjorie says never politics. Yeah. And that's not great. Well, I'm not even this year i'm so disgusted well i mean you got to vote this year no. especially especially down in georgia yeah you know? Ooh, you're talking politics. i mean here in new york my vote doesn't count but yours does yeah yeah i mm -hmm. guess yeah yeah um how was your weekend edward Berger? i'm gonna okay. I, I never ask him anything he sits there for an hour just staring at the camera, waiting to say one thing. That's <laughs> right. I'm always prepared. Yeah. Everything ran smoothly. If everything ran smoothly this yeah. weekend? Yep. You, I didn't do you, much. It was too cold. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. I, haven't left, the house in a, I haven't left the house in a week. Uh-oh. Um, what was that? I said, uh oh. Yeah, oh. it's okay. <laughs> you know, no. It was the way you did it. Uh -oh. oh, it's uh <laughs> what? Now, uh, do you guys know? Because my daughter, like, she posted something that there was some snow. So very little. Okay. That was a couple of days ago. Well, it was yeah. it, it was a, it, it, to call it snow yeah. and then compare it to what Mike Chisholm had to put up with in the last week. <laughs> Is, uh, is an insult to Mike Chisholm. It doesn't you know? count. Yeah. Yeah. It's an insult to Mike Chisholm. It hasn't really. It really it's here. an insult to New Yorkers. That was the first snow we've gotten here in three years. Yes. And when I used to live in New York, every winter we had a gigantic <laughs> snowfall at least once during the winter. Right. Well, she's a New Yorker now, but she's still a Southern gal. So any kind of dusting, she's like, ooh, it's snowing. You know? well, <laughs> <laughs> was, it, was it snowing in Georgia or just raining? It did, we didn't get any kind of precipitation. She lives in New York, Alex. I was no, just I'm talking, talking, I'm, I'm talking uh, about Mandy. Yeah, no, her daughter lives in New York. I, I know, talking, but I didn't. I'm not talking about her daughter. I'm talking about her. No, oh. we. It was sunny, but just really cold. Oh, but really mm -hmm. cold. And that's it. Yeah. Here it's yeah. really cold, and the the uh, landlord doesn't turn on the furnace. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. even one night, about a couple of nights ago, I was lying in bed. I woke up in the middle of the night, and I was freezing so much that uh, I thought I was going to be one of those old people they find dead in an apartment, <laughs> you know, because it was too cold. Frozen. Frozen. I mean, I it was horrible. It's just Did, horrible. Do you have any electric heaters? No. 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 Yeah. And we don't no. want to. We, we, we shouldn't have to have it. We've got these giant radiators. Yeah. Or as Marjorie calls them, radiators. I'm from Philadelphia, Alex. <laughs> My grandparents, when I was in New York years ago, they never, the landlords, it must be a thing. They never turn on the damn heat. Well, they don't want to spend the money. They'd rather freeze their people out, you know? You yeah. people, some people in this apartment house are paying upwards to seven, eight thousand dollars a month. And yeah. they're not getting any heat either. You yeah. know, they're heat off midnight to six AM. Yeah. No yeah. heat. Hey, listen, it's been great, even though this nobody may ever hear this. I, if I can find out how to retrieve it, they will. But uh I oh, Andrew. Uh, Call Andrew. I'll call, yeah, I'll call yeah. Andrew. I don't have his phone number actually. So, <laughs> post, post it on your website. You, you should have made, made this the bluest show. show. If you need some help, if you don't find it. Yeah. Yeah. What? We should have, we should have made this the bluest show ever because nobody's ever going to see it, maybe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Andrew. What? What were you going to say? What did you say? I said if you need, message me and I'll get you. I'll give you my phone number. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Wait, no, hey, let me listen. just say it out loud on the internet and see. Yeah, well, that's, that's a good idea. Idea. Give everybody your phone number. And then yeah. uh, kiss my ass. Always great talking with you, Marjorie. What's for dinner? Oh, sushi. <laughs> right. 
she makes sushi. She does a wonderful job of rolling it up and putting yeah. on. It's because she well, cause the she telephone. Made points for so many years. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, Mike Chisholm, don't freeze your ass off too badly, and we'll see you next no, week. We're good. Uh, uh, we didn't hear much from uh, Charlene Solis, but uh, I imagine uh, your life is going good too, huh? Yeah, I'm just getting over COVID. Um, oh, oh, yeah, you had COVID. Yeah. And then you said, I can't call you because I have COVID. And I'm thinking, does she think she can really give it to the rest of us? Or <laughs> no. <laughs> I would have wore a mask, but I really didn't. Yeah. That. <laughs> How bad was it, by the way, Charlie? It was, you know, I've had it one time before, and it was like a breeze. But this time, I was just like coughing. Oh, yeah. I'm so, I'm still like really tired. And so you decided you take not the to pills? Did you take you, the pills? I didn't. I didn't. No. No. Mm -mm. Um, uh, yeah. Explosion. <laughs> Well, Andrew Deutsch, nice having you here as well. Always a pleasure. Mm -hmm. uh, Vernon Nunn, you've hardly said anything today, Vernon. You said a little bit, but uh, well, it's always warming up. It's warming up tomorrow, but it's supposed to be ninety-two percent chance of rain. So, really, mm -hmm. okay. Look, uh, Lynn Lafrisco, always a pleasure. And uh, Jeff, good to see you here. I don't know if he said anything today. Did you? Jeff? No, I did. Yeah, a couple of things. Oh, okay. That's fine. Uh, Charlie Wallace, always nice to have you here. Mandy disappeared. <laughs> uh, uh, Mandy, really nice having you here. And uh, now it's time, as we do every week at this time, <laughs> to have Edward Berger say and sign us off by saying, That's all, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, well done, well done. see you next week, and hopefully we'll have internet by then. <laughs> that would be great. Great talking to you guys. Bye-bye. See you Bye later. Guys.